What is going on? Mr. Holmes, is everything all right? Oh, my God. Go back to your flat and... Calm down, Toby. Now, let's see what this contains. It's ticking. I see wires inside. They could be connected to the cover. A fancy ticking homemade gift from a secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it. What happened? Just a small bomb. Somebody wants to kill me? What for? I don't believe that you were the target. Who then? Mr. Holmes, are you all right? I saw the bloke. I tried to catch him, but he escaped. Can you describe the man? Uh, he was thin, about 5'5", five five, with black hair and a hair lip. Wiggins, tell us everything you saw. The fellow was watching your place, so I thought maybe he's a client. But then he took something out of his jacket and threw it, smashing your window. I shouted at him and he took off. I grabbed him by the sleeve, but he wriggled out of his jacket and left it. I'm sorry I didn't catch him, Mr. Holmes. You did very well, Wiggins. Now, let's take a look at that jacket. Here it is. Good job, Wiggins. Here's a penny. Oh, thanks, Mr. Holmes. J.T. are the owner's initials. Let's see what's inside. There could be a hidden message that's been written with some lemon juice. No, don't touch anything else. There are ink stains on this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table if Wilde hadn't already destroyed it. A poem. But what does it mean? This isn't a poem. It's a song called Rally Mohawks. That great moment when America rebelled against England's dominance. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. And I bet they hoisted a tankard of ale and invented a new nation. Along with deciding if this was the week they got to dump some tea into Yon Harbor. <laughs> Why ever did he keep such a song in his pocket? Here it is. Uh, 
That's all I can do for now. Let's try and get a few hours of sleep. How can you sleep when there is someone trying to kill me? How selfish. My, I see you and Kate are best friends already. Did you sleep well, Kate? Very well, thank you, Father. Is that wild? Whatever is he doing now? He's transforming you into a legend. Oh, silly man. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. The zoo? What on earth for? Uh, perhaps because it is my birthday today? I'm so sorry, Kate. With Wilde's visit, I... Look, here's some spending money. Go and treat yourself to a... a thing. All right. I'll go then. Kate. You never do anything right. All right, all right. Come here. I've had enough of you not caring about me. I do care. I've just had a, a difficult night. Yes, Alice told me about the bomb, but you wouldn't. Kate, I... I only want to protect you. You don't understand anything. I wish Alice would adopt me. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know why my parents entrusted me to you. Did they really know you? Kate, come back! Damn it, such a waste. This Alice, I have an odd sense about her. It's as if she's playing with Kate's feelings. This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat. While
It appears that Alice sleeps in this armchair, as uncomfortable as that must be. It has no smell. Uh, it has a bitter taste. No smell, bitter taste. It's a tincture. A soothing drug to aid sleep. Alice prepared a gift for Kate. She remembered her birthday. Well, women are good at that sort of thing. It looks as though Alice has not slept here for a long time. Photograph cylinder.
Alice's childhood was spent with her aunt until the aunt's death. Alice was unhappy with all of her adopted families. She's spying on me. Alice Floella Hamilton. Sarah de Bouvier is Alice's mother. Alice used her mother's name to lease the flat. Strange taste in literature. Kate probably sleeps here. This lock is quite new. <sighs> oh my God. The wheelchair is the same as the one in the photograph above. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. distant ancestor, Horace Vernon. William Hamilton. But I know him. He was a bandit who I arrested 20 years ago. Alice is talking with her father, William Hamilton. Alice knows about Zacharias Greystoke, the victim from the bowling club. I solved that crime. Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist. My word, look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. Abraham Lincoln.
shut tight. Distant ancestor Horace Verney. William Hamilton, are you there? Can you hear me? I wish to hear from you. Alice is talking with her father, William Hamilton. Alice knows. My word, look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. Here it is. 